YouTube, uh, without wasting much of your time, this is just a quick tilt on uh, on uh, creating a curved beam. I got a comment from someone and I erased it by mistake. So luckily that person wrote the comment again slightly differently but I appreciate that and uh, today I'm just gonna be showing you how to <coughs> create the curved beam and uh, I'm not gonna create the whole structure just create kind of maybe the front of it what you'd be looking at so you know okay so first things first uh, yeah the easiest way to create the curved beam is to draw a circle and uh, you know to to show the contour of where you want your beam to run so obviously it won't be a circle so we trim that part off we take get rid of that and maybe these are columns here I don't know how you're gonna structure it but our curved beam is gonna be up there so uh, there's this command here which you can use which I'm not gonna use I much rather use this one beam from line we spoke about this in video number two number one number four somewhere in the first few videos it's it makes life so simple and uh, you select the ones you want to <coughs> convert to beams and you as usual you read down here do you want to delete selected objects no in case we screwed up okay so and there is our curved beam and uh, that command does the same thing uh, you can position your uh, uh, your columns uh, to match right under the beam there or you know whatever you want to do and then you can go ahead and add uh, a plate maybe to the underside select your main beam select secondary beam you have your connection there and we won't even modify the connection we're just uh, interested in the curved beam for now and we have our main and our secondary we add the connection there we won't even bother modifying the connection and then uh, an example of where you, where you would use this is probably like a balcony or something uh, on top of uh, uh, our structure here but of course with the balcony you need the uh, railing because it's not safe so we add our railing to that and what we end up with looks something like this okay and i hope that answers your question but you can go ahead and add some more stuff there and create uh, something beautiful but thanks again for reposting that comment and if this is not what you wanted as usual let me know explain it better but this is what I understood. You wanted a curved beam. And of course you can change the profile of that to anything. Okay? Do whatever sizes you want, anything. But that's my short video for today. Uh, YouTube.